So out of nowhere, old man, bah, bah. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, probably a good six shots. That nigga got a concussion. That's yeah. for sure, right? That's for sure. Ooh. Bow. The wife got a concussion. The wife got a lump. She really lump, lump. What's happening? Hey, man, we back. Random acts of porn. I'm just playing. It's two niggas. In here. <laughs> I ain't on that episode, hey, y'all. Blueface said, "I might need an extra nigga." <laughs> hey, you see that? That was actually a funny line when he said it. Yeah, actually, I thought it was a fire Bro, line. That shit was so funny when he said that. I can't shit. relate, but sometimes I'll be seeing some women like, "Hey, she, she, she a lot to handle for a nigga." <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna need that extra yeah, yeah, nigga yeah. to tag in. But I ain't never she, gonna need it. She a lot to handle. But yeah, 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 yeah. Big behemoth. Yeah, I found him. He was talking about. He was talking about Lizzo though. She, she up out of here. Man. Yeah. You seen they canceled a whole music festival over her? Damn, I did not see that. Yeah, they canceled Made in America. She was. I, I do not know why she was headlining Made in America. But that's crazy. She was headlining with um with Sizzle. It was Sizzle and Lizzo. What the fuck? Two opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah, one like one one the black. Well, I don't know. A lot of white women like SZA, but a lot of black women like SZA. Uh, Lizzo just straight up white women love her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't even see the correlation between those two headlining it. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, they had SZA headlining it and Lizzo headlining it. All like they said they, instead of. Uh, I don't know. Pull that diversity. I got, okay. Okay. I remember okay. one time. I remember one time I had went to uh one of the. I think it was the one I had one with Devin. The headliners. It was one night with Beyonce and another night with like Queen Queen and the Stone Age and Nine Inch Nails. So yeah, they be they try to get them crackers in there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not proud. But I was going crazy. Queen and the Stone Age. They were. They were them crackers were snapping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say them fuck niggas snapping. Nah, them, crack, them crackers, crackers are sliding. Them I'm sorry. Got it. <laughs> yeah, man. What's your favorite rock bands? I know it's, it's a couple that be. Damn, I'm gonna tell you what. Journey got a lot of shit. Um, oh, you like that? Uh, you like that red and that shit? You like that? Damn. Nah, Journey. Journey just got <clears throat> some shit, and I feel like as niggas, we don't ever give. You know, we don't ever talk about Journey, but oh, um, nigga, be turning up to don't stop believing, bro. That shit, that shit, that go. That shit, that definitely go. Don't Would Hall and Oates be considered? Me. What What are they considered? Uh, it's Blue Eye Soul. Mm. <clears throat> mm. I never heard that term before, but I'm gonna start stealing that. That would be Bobby Caldwell as well, right? Yeah, Bobby Caldwell's blue eyes. Okay, okay. Rest in peace, Bobby Caldwell. Mm -hmm. Uh, Justin Timberlake is considered blue eyes. So, unfortunately, Robin Thicke is considered blue eyes. So, Michael McDonald is considered blue eyes. So, also Michael McDonald. I'm trying to think. What song did he have? Uh. The name is the name is familiar. He had that one song with uh with Patty LaBelle. I forgot exactly how it go. But he had you know Michael McDonald, he was in the Doobie Brothers also. Okay, yeah, now, the yeah, Doobie yeah. There Brothers we go. That's not why considered who nah, I nah, sold. Nah, nah, nah. But Michael McDonald's solo stuff was like Got you. Yeah. Um, so just going back to rock bands, uh shit. Of course Lincoln Park, I fucked with them heavy. Um <laughs> That's wall runner music. <laughs> Lincoln Park went, bro. That shit was hard. Yeah. Hey, man, it's crazy. You know who put me on the the first time I ever listened to a, a rock? Because, you know, I went to, I say all the time, I went to nigga schools. So we had this, um, it was an Asian kid. His name was Parker Ikimoto. I don't know if Bruh's still alive, if you, wherever you at. I almost bro. laughed at his name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Salute Parker, bro. He was an Asian kid. He went to a nigga school. But he was an Asian skateboarder. So he just wasn't really fitting in because there wasn't really no Asian people there. Right, right, right. But he was a skateboarder, but like none of the white kids was messing with him. They were like, ugh, Asian man. I am I'm not saying that they said that. They not I'm not racist. They're racist. They were like, ugh. They were like, ugh. <laughs> they were like, ugh, Asian boy. Bro, that is funny. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Asian Niggas boy. Say, Ew. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Like, ugh, Asian, Asian boy. boy. Yeah, and he wasn't black, but we 
we was rocking with Parker. Right. So he was like fitting in with us, even though he was like a, a Asian skateboarder. Yeah, yeah, an Asian white boy. So <laughs> we'll put him on like a cat. Like he wasn't really listening to hip hop. He was just this straight up rock and roll music only. Right, right, right. So like we would just trade with him like uh, yeah, like a new Cash Money album or like a new Nelly Ludacris. We'll get that to him. We're like, hey, that new Ludacris is drop. Here you go. Mm-hmm. And then he'll give us like uh, a rock album. So he, he was giving us all kind of shit. He was at that time. Uh, he was giving us like Limp Biscuit albums. So. Limp Biscuit was my first rock album, <laughs> yo. Yeah. And and I got it before I moved to Jacks. Then I found out they was from Jacks. Man, that shit was crazy to me. Yeah, I forgot the name of it, bro. It was like Hot Dog, hot dog Flavor uh, Water. Yeah, Hot Dog Flavor Water. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. It had that Nookie song with that. Mm-hmm. He put he put us onto that. We, we were bro, jamming that. I went so crazy to motherfucking <laughs> Limp Biscuit, like bro. I thought I thought Fred Durst was that dude. Yeah. So it was one day I remember it, he put me on a Lincoln Park. He put me on an Incubus also. Incubus, mm, was Incubus is Incubus yeah. Is Incubus got some records, boy. So I remember one day we was going to Orlando. We was going to the Cape Canaveral. So man, this is right when Cash Money had dropped the. Uh, I think it was the Baller Blocking soundtrack. We were like, "Give me a project." Mm-hmm. I ran that into the ground. I'm, I'm on a bus going crazy. <laughs> So I, I got tired of listening to it. Yeah. So I was like, hey, Parker, man, what you got? I'm going to give you this cash money. Give me whatever you got. He gave me he gave me uh, the Lincoln Park. I'm like, bro, what is this shit? I started bumping the Lincoln Park. I was like, bro, this shit hard, right? And was in that bit uh, jumping off the seats on the bus and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, salute to Parker. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be hip to none of that rock. But once he started, I was like, yeah, this shit hard right here. Richard Serta, man, God rest his soul. I love that motherfucker to death, man. But uh, Richard Serta, he, uh, I don't even know why I'm saying his whole name certified. Yeah, um, some people, you just got they just you got to say their whole name. Yeah, I always thought his name had a little ring to it. I thought it was like it worked. You know what I'm saying? Richard Serta, that's dope. Yeah. Um, like just how it plays into each other. Yeah. Anyway, um, he gave me that Limp Biscuit uh, CD. I stayed at his house one night, and bro, when he gave it to me, I'm thinking in my head like, "Yo, I can't take this home." <laughs> <laughs> I start playing Limp Biscuit, and they might think I'm suicidal. You know what I'm saying? But you thought you about to get judged, did you? Yeah, I ain't know how my people was gonna take a Limp Biscuit album. What is this? <laughs> Hot dog flavored water. <laughs> Uh, but man, I listened to that shit, ran that shit into the ground. Like I say, moved here, found out they was from here. That shit was legendary. Yeah, um, yeah Limp Biscuit is from Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nirvana's another like to me. I love you know, and I think one thing that really plays well into their nostalgia and their their um, lore, uh, folklore and shit. I guess is the fact they only what dropped two albums, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. I yeah. know it wasn't three, but no, nah, they had um, the one with the baby on the cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it was um something else after that. Shortly, it might have just even been the live joint of that, but um yeah, they did an unplug album. Yeah, but um Nirvana's man, that that album is easily like one of the greatest records produced ever. Yeah, I don't think I ever listened to it. I know the Teen Spirit song. Teen Spirit goes. Polly, like, yo, Polly, to me, is a great, great record, generally. Mm-hmm. Polly wants a cracker. I think she needs some water. It's yeah. a crazy story behind that shit, but. Yeah, and they got that one song where he was like, uh, R word me. R word me. <laughs> I can't say it. It's like, it's like one of their big songs. Yeah, I don't even remember You can't even one. say it now. <laughs> I don't even remember that one. That's crazy. Yeah. I might have uh, just blocked that shit out of my head. Sing, yeah. Singing that sounds ludicrous. <laughs> like, bro. That was like one of those songs where it's like, all right, bro. Hey, man, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, yeah. You, Kurt Cobain was definitely on some other shit. Yeah, you left You left right before the problematic area. They would have got you up out of here. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else was it? I had one in my head when you was talking that I forgot about. Um, you put me on to um, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. Fire. Corn. Corn. I, I wasn't listening to Corn. That's a, I wasn't that, listening to him. That's big Jinko music right there. Yeah. I was really rocking but the boys. Like as that. I as I as I get older, I can definitely appreciate what what people were listening to. The instruments they went fucking ballistic with the yeah. guitars and drums and shit. If you really go back and listen to that, man, the motherfuckers was years ahead of their time. Yeah, Sublime, all them boys. Oh, Sublime got some records. Yeah. yeah. 
Hey man, this ain't really rock, but were you watching that show S Club Seven? No. <laughs> no. No. S Club Seven is another one. It was uh I forgot the name of the show, but it was Loser like Loser Shows. Bro, I was I was watching I was rock with S Club Seven, bro. <laughs> I was watching that, and it, I forgot the name of the show, but it was like some other, it was like some other kids, and they had like they, they had redid the ABBA song, mm. Dancing Queen. They mm-hmm. did redid the Dancing mm-hmm. Queen song. I forgot wh- who who it was, but that baby used to, of a record. That baby used to come on Fox Family. I used to watch that shit on Saturday. Yeah, with the door closed. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, watching no S Club Seven. What you thought you was gonna be judged? Yeah, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, real, nigga, real niggas was not watching S Club nah, Seven. Nah, bro. Not at all. It was a bunch not of crackers and one nigga dancing on a beach. Not at all, bro. I never cut that shit on. Yeah, bro. You listen to you? You seen the Spice Girls movie? I did actually see that. Yeah, I only did. I only watched the Spice Girls because of the women. Yeah, you had to tap in with it. You had to. You win. had to, bro. What was the black chick name? <laughs> Spice Girls? Oh, yeah. Scary Spice. Scary. That's crazy. That was her name. That's bro. crazy, bro. I forgot her name. I know she had a she had a kid with uh that nigga Eddie Murphy. For real. She looked fire, now. bro. She looks so fucking good. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Look, yeah, that nigga Eddie Murphy. I seen the so potential I though. Down. I forgot Man. her name. What it was? It was Eddie like, Murphy was trying to fight them allegations. Eddie, <laughs> <laughs> it worked because he, yeah, yeah, bro. All his women bro, bad, <laughs> bro. Every one of them. Oh my god, he beat them allegations. Like, hey, Eddie Murphy, I salute you. Hey, I see you, Jalen Green. You trying to beat them allegations? You got, that boy don't even know how to act around a bad you got, bit. You got Dre and Michelle. I salute you, bro. I see what you're doing, but I salute you. That nigga was in the pic in the picture looking like her little brother. Bro, they wasn't even close. You know it was. That a nigga was giggling and shit. <laughs> yeah, that man. Nigga. I watched I watched all, every season of Ray Donovan. I know PR shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. I know I know the I know the shenanigans. Somebody but tickled that nigga before they took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> like smile, Jalen. That nigga man took the picture. All right, yeah. all right, bro. <laughs> What's our topics? We ain't never getting Jalen Green on the podcast. <laughs> Shit, why would we need Jalen Green on the? I fold, I fold that nigga. That yeah, nigga he can, he can hoop. He a chucker, sure. he a chucker though. Yeah, don't put no bread on that nigga. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's still young. They he's still see. young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna little uh, experience will help him to settle that down. Yeah, you doka, you doka. Uh, what that ma? You doka? He gonna get that boy right. Yeah, yeah. Now you made a hell of a coach. I think that was proven with uh, the Celtics last year. Yeah, where the applause man? We nigga. Nope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I do that every time. Yeah, you dyslexic. <laughs> no voicemails from B dot. <laughs> I'll just pop up here. I will say B dot. Keep it to thirty seconds, brother. That, last that nigga week. be calling in with what really grinds my gears. <laughs> that, that nigga was drunk. <laughs> so let me let me hit up. That nigga went on a, a women hate rant. <laughs> I was like, goodness. He said, I hate them bitches at South by Southwest. All I brought the hell they do to you, dude. bro. Like nigga, we six months away. What's going on? <coughs> Salute beat out though, man. <laughs> All right, let's get into listening question. Let's send those in. Hit us up. Mail at ariopodcast dot com. That's mail at ariopodcast dot com. Oh, guess what, bro? Talk to me. Patreon. They finally hit me up a million years later. They finally fixed our Patreon shout-out list. Man, so let's we, go. We, you want to do shout-outs again? Yeah, of so, course. So we're going to bring back shout-outs today at oh, some point in the episode. So salute to these amazing. Ama- super amazing individuals. Super amazing. Patreon uh, supporters. Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. <laughs> Tap in and support us. Chop his ass. All right. Chop. What is that all? Oh, that's that. Oh, yeah. That's Chop. that Zay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, bro, his marketing for that shit is great. He got the best marketing on the internet. I would great. never listen to any of his music, but like he got the best marketing ever. Yeah, he, he he's he's selling a character. He's not selling his music, my nigga. Yeah, I have <laughs> I seen one of his, um, because he had that other one that let's get to the money. Let's yep. get to the money that yep. blew up. He was like, I posted that bit every day. Yeah, that's some real shit. He posts it every day. He posts chop every day. Like my nigga, he does a video for that shit every single day. But he 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 <clears throat> focuses on clever parts of songs to where niggas don't need nothing more than the same aesthetic for thirty seconds. Can I call you a hater real quick? Mm-hmm. 
All right, hater. You do every week. Hater. You was hating on Coil or Ray for posting that song every day, and that shit blew up. No, 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 I was not hating. No, 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 You was hating, nigga. I was not hating. I personally got tired of seeing that as someone who is an avid Coil or Ray follower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga said, I want to see that. You like, you posting the wrong ass. <laughs> you know what I'm here for. Hey girl, you posting that right now wrong. I don't want to see that ass. I want to see the other ass. Like, hey, and the song ain't bad. You know what I mean? Right, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we're gonna tag team on the hate. <laughs> that initial song didn't blow up. The Jersey Club remix. So right, it didn't right, blow up. right, right, right. So somebody remixed it and made it blow up. But uh-huh. she, she was putting in the work to make, I guess, make them see make, it. Get, that, get it to there, man. That's yeah. what it takes. That's what it takes. So, niggas, if y'all out there and your music sucks, I'm just bullshitting. <laughs> If, if you shit. out there and you trying to figure out how to get your shit in motion, man, post that shit every day. Find a way to be creative every yeah. single day. That's that's crazy because that advice oh, you gave. Shit. Some uh, phone going off. So I gotta do fifty push-ups. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you just what you just said made sense, but sometimes if if, if a nigga post that bit about three years, all right, bro, your song ass. Yeah, right. songs yeah, yeah, it shouldn't. It, you, you gotta, you gotta have a strategic. Most of them niggas, you gotta go back and look at it. They're doing it within a three month or six month time frame. And if it's six months, like yo, my nigga, you better be doing unbelievable things with that record. You know what I'm saying? But a three month time period, you think about it for real. If you posting every other day, Monday through Friday type shit, you can um get away with posting that shit for three months consecutive. So, hey man, figure something out, niggas. Yeah, just don't send it to me. Mm-hmm. Or oh, me, niggas be DMing <coughs> me they mute they they song. I'm like, nigga, I don't sign records. Like, I don't I don't sign artists. Yeah, I ain't a music critic. I don't ever get music. music. Niggas send me they IG skits. So like, I'm not send that bit to Drewski, bro. Bro, <laughs> niggas will send a a a post. Of a picture of them I'm like nigga Why the fuck Did you just send me this <laughs> It don't say nothing It's like Here go my post One of our homies I ain't gonna uh, Call him out Trayvon Mm-mm. He be sending me Like random rap niggas And he be saying He's ready <laughs> I was like nigga What does that mean Dog. <laughs> He just sent me a I random I don't even tell niggas I podcast no more If they recognize me Type shit Okay cool <laughs> But man As soon as I be like Yeah I'm, I'm on R.E.O.P You know what I'm saying Oh, bro, I got 10 niggas for you right now. Uh, I'm like, nah, we not, we don't need niggas. Exactly, we do it by ourselves. But <laughs> if you, <laughs> two niggas bring three niggas, <laughs> four <laughs> niggas bring five niggas. If you, five niggas bring. <laughs> if you bring them niggas, they better pay us. Because <laughs> I ain't interviewing no nigga for free with one song. <laughs> bro, a nigga sent me a DM and said, Hey, bruh, I want you to check out my song and just tell me what y'all think. I want to see if y'all can give me a a, a review on air. Mm-hmm. I was like, Cha-ching. what do you mean? Payola. I just want you to, I want to send you a song and have y'all listen to it and review it on air. I was like, nah, <laughs> I, I, we can't do that, bruh. And then <coughs> like, yo, I was like, bruh, I looked at your page. You got one picture. We wouldn't even interview you. Yeah. There's nothing for, like, I deter <clears throat> niggas in that situation because, bro, at the end of the day, I ain't even trying to take your money. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I robbed a nigga at that point. Yeah, it's like, nigga, you just. You, you just want to be seen. <clears throat> yeah, like, nigga, what are you going to. Because I do listen to podcasts where they, like, play, like, people. Music songs and, shit, yeah. and they, like, you know, they take payload. Like, for example, I don't. I haven't listened to it about four years, but, you know, Joe Budden podcast, when mm-hmm. they do the whole. Uh, sleeper song I know for a fact They definitely was Charging people Oh 100% 100%, 100%. Probably Rory or Maul Or one of the Motherfuckers 100%. They definitely was Charging motherfuckers On the table It was probably 10 niggas Charging niggas You know what I'm saying Like Yeah and I'm like I was like Nah man I'm definitely not Listening to music Listen to that Random song You just played Even if it's fire I was like I'm just gonna forget about it Bruh like And that's the thing You have no marketing Going for it You have nothing That entices me what I look like bringing you on the podcast and thinking that our listeners finna, you know, entertain this shit. 
Oh yeah, trust me, our regular listeners don't really be they they don't really be listening to our interviews like that. They just want to hear us. Know. They just want to hear us have fun. Yeah, yeah, for real. For yeah, real. like our whole our in our interview shit, and then like this show right here is just like it's night two different day. fan bases. Night and day, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. All right, we went off trail for a while, but it is it's all good. That's what we do. They ran the Max podcast. All right, this one from Kane. He said, uh, he sent this in the Discord, salute to King, one of our MVPs in the Discord. Um, he said, is Roman Reigns the GOAT? And is the bloodline the best storyline ever as well? Roman Reigns will be the GOAT. Mm, I think he top five already. Uh, he definitely is. <laughs> yeah, I think he top five. I don't know about GOAT. I still think the GOAT is John Cena. You got John Cena, Stone Cold. I Undertaker. Know. I don't know about Undertaker. Why Undertaker not? was fire. I don't, think, I don't think one of the goats. I didn't, I, I'm going to be honest, dog. If you look at Undertaker career, I feel like Undertaker really didn't turn up for real until like the tail end of his career. Until he started getting older. If you watch like Undertaker like beginning matches when mm-hmm. he was like, them bitches wasn't Bro, he good. wasn't, nah, he couldn't, it, it wasn't that he couldn't <clears throat> wrestle. I think he just didn't understand his body to where he could fall with shit. Yeah. Other people could like, Play into or off of pause um, <laughs> him in any way, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, you got a good point there, but I think that his storyline is what made him so, like, the way his um, aesthetic was done, yeah. his appeal, all of that yeah, shit. Yeah, I think that's character. Yeah. yeah, bro, like, when that nigga was in, when, when, um, when he was, like, wrestling niggas like Giant Gonzalez mm-hmm. and fucking Kevin Nash and Diesel, that shit was not fire, It bro. wasn't, because you got two big-ass <laughs> niggas that can't, you know, they're not limber. That's what we watch wrestling yeah. for. We want to see flips off the top rope or a nigga <laughs> jump 30 feet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Then when you start wrestling, like, he, like, tore, like, when he was getting older, when you start wrestling motherfucker like Shawn Michaels, mm-hmm. CM Punk, mm-hmm. bro, he was wrestling Shawn Michaels, bro. His big ass can't, I mean, Undertaker, like, damn near seven foot, he jumping over the third rope. Yeah. Big as fuck. He landed on his neck, but he still jumped up in the sky with his big ass. Jumping in the sky. Bro, I never forget that. that he nigga. started doing submission moves. Yeah, he just <laughs> that nigga went way over that bit. Yeah, he doing that. He was doing submission moves all that. Yeah, went to tail in his career. Yeah, but I gotta penalize him because I like you ain't get fired till you got old. True, 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 true. Yeah, and some people like Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels fired a whole his whole career. Bro, John Cena to me. Was fire his whole career. Some people say John I'll give Cena you that. got like he got like it was a it was a point where like Sean John Cena because he because they just say he only had the five moves of Doom. Yeah, like when dudes like Daniel Bryan and like CM Punk was getting in there, he kind of like learned new moves and he mm-hmm. got real fire. But it's like I still feel like he was the goat his whole career. Mm. <clears throat> That's crazy. I, I I could give you that actually because the way they brought him in. Even the way he left, like, yo, he made a bigger, like, for real, he made a bigger impact to more people. Yeah. The the younger generation up under us, I would say. Yeah. That um, he made an impact with them bigger than what Stone Cold and The Rock made for us. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, but I feel like, I feel like damn near, uh, um, I feel right, like. <laughs> Put that shit out there. Bro. I feel like that nigga John Cena was like nigga R. Hulk Hogan, pretty much. I could give you that. I could yeah. give you that. I wouldn't say. <coughs> I think I stopped watching wrestling around the time that John Cena came in, and I'd catch you know matches, but I wasn't like as avid a fan, right? Mm. Um. So I never really included John Cena in my vision of wrestlers, but. I guess my vision of wrestlers would be this big, right? So, yeah, yeah John Cena could be the GOAT of... Oh, of all right. I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, man, boss, if necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all think it's man. Hey. <laughs> In the hey. Discord, man, the pauses be flying, so you definitely got to protect yourself at all. <laughs> Nigga, I had recorded something. It's not coming out. I had, all right. I had recorded a bonus episode with uh, Banks. It's not coming out because the shit sounded... T- the technical wise, not a terrible. Oh, gotcha. I ain't dropping it, but uh, 
that nigga said pause so many times. I was like, bro, stop it, dog. Yeah, you know Banks is like a child. Anything he learns, he's like. He was like, he was like I went outside. I was hot. Pause. <laughs> I was like, all right, bro. That's not how this works, man. Yeah, I was like, all right, bro. Cordero. It, it was. Yeah, you're green. Bro. I did not mean to. But. You're green. <laughs> I got to remember to block that up. Yeah, I'm probably going to forget, but I'm going to. Bro, I'm going to take you, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> I got something for you. At the end. I got something like for you that. at the end of the episode. All right, here we I'm, go. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do the greenest shit ever at the end of the episode. Wow, something. this is crazy. Yeah, I'm All right, countdown. All right, I'm gonna have to do. You remember that time when I did the joke cancellation countdown? <laughs> I'm gonna have to do the amp green ass <laughs> bruh, countdown, bro. All right, but uh, what I was talking about? I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna fight this nigga on camera tonight, y'all. Right, <laughs> I can't remember what I was talking about, so let's go on to the next question. But uh, to answer your question. King. Oh, we didn't answer the second part. The bloodline shit, the best storyline. Eh, it's up there. It's real. It's real. It's cool. good. Yeah. I, I mean, I still think I still love the Daniel Bryan um, B B plus player is like one of the best storylines ever. Um, uh, King asked another question. I don't, I don't know how to answer this. He said, "Uh, what would you do if Lizzo fat shamed you?" <laughs> I don't know, nigga. Cry, nigga. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Lizzo be like, ah, you're fat. <laughs> right. I'll just be like, all right. Man, she played a flute in your ear for 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I don't know. I'd rather her do that than, I don't know. Actually, that might be kind of fire. She had no, she had no women eating bananas out of prostitutes' coochies. Mm-hmm. Actually, I no, that actually, that. nah, I don't, don't want no highs on my face. Never, actually, never mind. Yeah, don't do that, bro. That's <clears throat> nasty, actually. All right, it's a real good question. This one's from Aaron. He said, what's the best slash funniest movie death by gunfire? So in a, he could set an example, Michael Ely and Breezy and Takers, Cleo and Set It Off, and Denzel and Training Day, et cetera. That's- right. <clears throat> I'm surprised he didn't mention uh, Boys in the Hood. When Ricky got shot. That was funny? No, it was not funny. He said, what's the funniest best? Oh, the funny, the like the best funniest, I guess. No, nah, Ricky. All right, but I, I got a list. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking like dramatically, like okay. All right, let's see where you go. All right, let's we we gonna do what's the what's the worst death scene in a uh, movie? Okay, yeah, yeah. So and dramatically, get, that shit was. Yeah. yeah, Ricky was not funny. That was fucked. Up. It was not funny. No. I do got when uh they got revenge on the dudes that killed Ricky. Yeah, yeah, I got that one. I'm gonna play it right here. Cause bro was just talking shit. You like, nigga, fuck you. Like, nah, nigga, bro, you're going to hell. <laughs> bro, straight up, tonight's your night, nigga. You try to be on some fly shit. Turn your punk ass off. Turn your punk ass off. He was acting like a hoe. <laughs> At this point, bro. Yeah, nigga. Like, this nigga brother just got killed. <laughs> At that point, I'd be on some shit like, let me shoot this nigga for the fuck of it. Yeah. I ain't had no math. Like, you could, yeah, nigga, you know I came to, it was three of y'all. Yeah. He, you is crawling away. I didn't really notice was the other dude he get got, because you know the other nigga like Rondo. Was that <laughs> yeah. the nigga that got killed, the shot too? Um, Cause I couldn't really see it. I was like, I don't know the first two. The way they just clap. I mean, <coughs> collapse rather. Yeah, because it wasn't there two niggas up front, and it was a nigga that looked like Rondo. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Did the nigga that got the nigga that actually shot Ricky? Did he actually die? I don't know. He might not have been with them niggas. Cause I like there was only two niggas out there. Cause I like that other nigga was probably not even. That, I gotta watch the movie again. What a little reset? I gotta do some research, man. I don't know about this, man. I gotta do some research. Was it two? I think it was three niggas out <clears> there <throat> in the parking lot. I think the first two got shot. Well, I don't got the whole clip. I just got. I don't know. It might have been. I know for sure it was two niggas, but because yeah. they was talking to each other. I was like, they should have did that dialogue with the nigga that actually shot him. True. Oh, like what you talking to this nigga? He like the final boss. <laughs> Uh, ho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got uh. You remember when um they had killed Rodamez in Juice? Oh yeah, Tupac. Buster. 
Rusai, motherfucker. It was always crazy because when bro got shot, the nigga was like, <laughs> bro, that nigga fell to the ground. <laughs> Nigga was acting like he was guarding cat in the lane. Bro, <laughs> that nigga turned into a mime. I'm putting up a wall. <laughs> Riverside, motherfucker. This is Kevlar. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you supposed to keep, you supposed to put your hands over to tell you. Nigga said, shoot me more. <laughs> shoot me right here. Not too. again, please. <laughs> nigga said, oh. It was, you know what Nigga that? said, <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, oh. Ow, ow, ow. That nigga did that all like, alright, bro. You got it. I ain't shooting you no more. <laughs> yeah, bro. You too zesty, nigga. Yeah. Well, this, just just fall to the ground or something. <laughs> it was it, you know what's the craziest thing in juice? Like you just seen that gun that Tupac had. The nigga had like a, a track and field gun. And that bro. nigga was like raising havoc on that shit. The, oh. nigga, the nigga killed like five niggas. He was the son of Sam, <laughs> nigga. That, that nigga went on a spree, bro. Bro, that nigga put the. He G. was legit uh, uh, a serial killer. Yeah, he definitely was. Like they been once he killed once he killed uh, Raheem. Uh-huh. Juice turned like low key turned to a horror movie. For real, like bro, the nigga had the track and field gun with the six bullets, but that bitch had like unlimited ammo. Bro, like he was like tearing niggas up with that track and field gun when he was running and he was shooting. Uh, when he was shooting that Q, yeah, bro, the, I swear the nigga shot off like nine shots in bro. that little ass gun. All right, bro, where is this nigga getting bullets? That at? nigga had an extended revolver. That nigga put the G- <laughs> that nigga put the GTA unlimited ammo code in. For real, that nigga bro. said up, oh, up, oh, down, down, R, R while he was running. I was like, bro, how you got that many bullets, nigga? Because he, because he got, I, don't, I think he got the gun from like Samuel L. Jackson or some shit like that, or the lady that was in the store. Yeah, or well, that's where Q got the gun from. I forgot exactly where this nigga Tupac got his gun from. But I was like, bro, I know they didn't give you extra bullets, nigga. You was like 14 years old. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That nigga was probably picking up bullets off the ground. <laughs> Collecting them bitches. You saying when he shot this nigga, he got 20 bullets? Like he was... I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> like it was a video game? Bro, they, that, 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 that's what the movie wrote, not me. <laughs> like Call of Duty, the nigga just nigga got a care package while he was running. Reload. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, you you talking about the, uh, the arcade? When they say reload, you just shoot up. Yeah, yeah. That bitch said, that bitch said, <laughs> <laughs> That's what that nigga did with that good nigga. Nah, man, that was crazy. Uh, what's up, man? I don't know if you ever seen this movie. I forgot the name of it. This got to be like one of the worst movies deaths ever. Is this nigga Raekwon? And he gets shot. And like that nigga, the nigga eyes just like get open. Like that nigga could line like a jigaboo. Nigga eyes just get like real big. And yeah. He, and he gets shot and he just jump to the side and just go play it. <laughs> Look how ridiculous this shit is. You know what, <laughs> And this is like no effects or anything. The nigga Bro, just, them eyes is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just said. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> that might be one of the worst ones. I ain't got a clip from it. You remember the... You, you ever seen Fresh before? Uh, oh, Fresh. my God. Please tell me. I want to say I have, but Please. remind me of what, it, what, 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 what Fresh was about. It had... Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> it had the kid... You remember the kid from the wood? Pause. The dude that played young... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Young yeah. Um, uh, Omar Epps. Yeah, yeah. I think his name was um I forgot his real name. <clears throat> he was that he was a kid selling drugs. And he York. he was like in a little gang or some shit. I don't I don't necessarily think he was in a gang. I just think he was just a kid selling drugs. He was just what he was with some badass kids. I'm, it might have been something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think I seen Fresh. I yeah, yeah. Seen it fresh. had Samuel L. Jackson in it. This nigga didn't see Fresh. Anyway, so it was like a kid and Fresh. His name was Chucky. He was like a a, a a Hispanic kid. Yeah. And like he was him and Fresh. They was out selling drugs. And keep in mind, these kids was like twelve years old. Right. <clears throat> so um, they running and they running and shit and they like in beef with like some random niggas and uh Fresh like hey him and the kid Chucky running. He like hey keep running motherfucker. And Chucky, he gonna talk shit. He like, he got a gun. So he's shooting at the niggas. It's like eight niggas with guns. He's shooting out, talking shit. I'm so fuck you, motherfucker. Oh, he's just talking. He's just cutting a promo on them niggas. 
they start, they were like, oh, okay. You, and they just start blasting at him. Keep in mind, this is, this is like an 11-year-old kid. They start blasting at him. And when they shot him, they, they shot his gun out of his hand or some shit like that. So he go under the car to try and get his gun. And they, I don't know, bro. This nigga got like a Laura Croft aim. <laughs> bro, shot the tire. And it landed on, I remember, all right, so uh, the Hispanic one, he had a little pit bull yeah. that he ended up having to kill, right? He didn't oh. have to kill him, but he did. But yeah, yeah. I think the kid, I think the pit bull was like losing dog Nigga, fights. he hung that shit. Yeah, yeah, bro, he didn't have to do that shit. Yeah, Nigga should have put the bullet in that, but. Yeah, he put, yeah. The, he put the escape rope on that dog. Bro. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, I definitely seen that movie. Yeah, the car, so the car now. fell on him. Yeah, and they just stood <laughs> over his ass. They just shot his ass up, and Fresh left him because it was like, no, you can do. Yeah, like, bro, it's a whole car on his arm. That nigga looked back one time. <laughs> it was like, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here. Get down that Chucky pack in there, bro. I told your dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> that that may sound crazy. That that was funny to me. I'm sorry. That's that's crazy was, to laugh at that. I'm sorry. He was that's talking crazy shit. To laugh no, at he that. was asking for this. Oh yeah, yeah. He begged for that. He shit. was begging for it, man. So, uh, man. So he's Aaron said funniest ones, and he do got the Cleo one. <laughs> Is that really funny? I was rooting for them low key. They sprayed Cleo ass up. It was a little funny because she was. <laughs> <laughs> she when she was driving the car, and of course they playing that song day after day. Burn, she said. <laughs> she lit that cigarette, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> she was like, "Oh fuck it, I'm dying today." Yeah, you know, that shit was crazy when they had they didn't even put like, bro, they put like fifty bullets on her, bro. They shot her before she pulled her gun out, nigga. They're like, "Yeah, you're dying." <laughs> I'm just, they shot her like a, they shot her to like a, a Swiss beat a, 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 a melody. Like nigga, they were like you the manly looking one, so we're gonna do you like we do the men. They just shot her up. Then she jumped out of the car after getting lit up fifty times, and then she tried. Sh- I'm like, all right, bro, she nobody can do this. She's dead. <laughs> yeah, bro, she was super bitch. They're like, bro, what's she the final boss, nigga? She's super dyke, nigga. Yeah, like, bro, stop it. That was kind of I don't know, man. I don't know. So what's like the worst movie death? I could go fresh. I could go fresh. Also, that part when the uh, you remember the scene where the little boy knew how to play basketball real good. Yeah, and he beat the nigga in basketball and they shot him in the yep. little girl. That mm-hmm. was fucked up. That was crazy. Yeah, nigga, I couldn't believe that shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, bro. that shit was morbid as fuck. Um, damn, even some of like the the scenes and um. Now I, I did thought that was funny when they had ran up on on an, um Minister Society when they ran up on the dude that killed uh their cousin Harold. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was, was good. That was funny. That was good. Uh now when they came and killed all them niggas, I'm sorry, I was laughing at um the main character dying, bro. That nigga, bro, he looked crazy. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> that nigga took twenty shots and then gonna cover the child. Yeah. Like nigga, they had perfect aim for your ass. You done drew the bullets thirty feet. <laughs> to I'm gonna be honest, dog. I really didn't care. Kane died. I was more care. I cared that Sharif died. Yeah, once Sharif died, bro, I was. I like, felt. I felt bad. I was like, damn, bro, was trying to change his life, bro. Shit. That nigga was finna be up out of there. Yeah, he had a dad that loved him. Yeah. And nah, bro, that nigga, yeah, that was fucked up. I just thought about his dad, The Rock, uh, not what Dwayne you, Johnson, but old dog. He ain't even die. What was his name? That was his yeah, name, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're like, nigga, that nigga should have. Bro, he should have been the first to go. That nigga should have had a head shot aside. Just, man, they could have painted that shit so much better, bro. But when he, you see when they do the little, when he do the flashback of his life, yeah. you see him get put in, uh, you see him putting old dog in the police car. Uh-huh. So I'm assuming that was from either he was having a flashback or when they had arrested him and interrogated him. You remember when, uh, what's his brother name? Duke, he was like, you know you done fucked up, right? Yeah. I don't know if that was from the interrogation of that or was that him actually getting arrested? Because, you know. I could, and see, that's what I that's what I envisioned, honestly, that yeah. um, it was more so him seeing how things either played out yeah. a different way or, 
you know, after his death, his death, you know what I mean? Yeah, because that, that nigga Clifton Powell, that nigga sent that tape in. That was like the most bitch shit ever. Bro, that was some whole ass shit. <laughs> uh, that nigga would have had to go. Swiss cheese, that nigga. Yeah. There's another uh, movie death that, was, that fucked you up. Um, This one ain't fucked me up, but it was it was fucked up to see in a movie. I don't think <laughs> I, I, like I ever seen nothing like it. Yeah. Uh, it made me think about Godfather 2. When they killed Fredo, but Fredo had to go. What movie? Uh, Godfather. Godfather Two. Um. Oh well, you he get, killed his you brother. Get the, you get to shame me. I never seen Godfather Two. Yeah, yeah, you good. I never uh, seen it. I seen Godfather One. Like I didn't sit on here. I don't really like the little them Italian shits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I will say, you know what? It was a really, really fucked up death. This might be the most fucked up death ever. Yeah. You you seen Casino? Yeah. You remember when, when they put that nigga in the trunk? No, 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 no. Well, they, they they did have him in the trunk. I'm talking about when they took him in the cornfield oh, and yeah, they killed yeah, Joe yeah. Pesci and his brother. Uh-huh. That might be the most fucked up death I've ever seen in a movie. Bro, right. like, they were, I was like, bro, this scene, the scene was like 10 minutes. Yeah. But they were beating him with bats. First, he, first, they had, he had to, they like held him down and they made him watch. They, they just like pummeled his brother with bats. Yeah. And it was like, they were like really hitting him. They and they were like pummeling for him like five minutes with a bat and mm-hmm. holding him down. I was like, bro, when is this scene gonna be over? Then they he he they held him down, made him watch him beat his brother to death. Then they just threw his brother in the damn he he seen he, all that shit. Yeah, he just threw his brother in the grave, start putting the dirt over him. They're like, oh, well, you're next, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then they just start beating his ass. I was like, bro, that is crazy. And then they just buried him alive. I was like, bro, that's that. That might be the worst movie death I've ever seen. Yeah, no, nah, that is insane. I ain't even think about that one. Yeah, that was <laughs> that casino one. I was like, I won't cut the movie off. All right, bro, y'all got it on this one, man. Yo, Pesci got some fucked up deaths. You remember when he got killed in Goodfellas? When yeah. When he thought he was about to be a made man, and uh-huh. they took him to the room and shot him in it. I was like, bro, <laughs> Joe Pesci must have like, yeah, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in the contract, he's like, yeah, I love to die in this one. That shit, I'm, I'm your dying guy, you know. <laughs> yeah, that nigga had a kill me clause in his contract, like, nah, right. bro. I, I, don't, I don't act this shit <laughs> unless I die. Yeah, I thought which McCullough was like that for, uh, for a second. Makai Pfeiffer, I felt like he was dying in all his movies. That's funny. Uh, he definitely was though. Uh, he had that shit. Uh, oh, that was him, right? And oh, right now, oh my ups. Oh, what's what's that? Um, yeah. See, it was like him, this white girl, and uh, if I ain't mistaken, like a white dude, they was staying in the house or some shit. Um, long story short, I think some some fucked up shit happened, and they was trying to put it on him as the nigga or something like that. But man, like I forget what the movie was about. Oh, no pun. I did see that. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Uh, was that I, was I far off on the premise? Nah, you you was right on that. I just like I got confused. I don't see too many movies. Sometimes I need like my brain to boot up. It was that one. You remember he got? Did he get killed in Shaft? Right? Did Christian Bale kill him, or did he live? Damn. When Christian Bale beat him with that thing. I can't. I can't remember. I think he, I, I only think he, seen it once. I think he might have died. I'm not sure. Uh, that. He got killed then. I know. I still know what you did last summer. Yeah, it was some other shit. You were just dying and everything. Yeah, I was like, damn, bro, you dying a little. I want to see you. Die, <laughs> bro. Oh, yeah. Green ass nigga. <laughs> nah, it was actually a clever one though. I, I, I gotta give you. I gotta tip my hat to you. <laughs> All right, salute Aaron on that question. All right, this one for more for you. I don't really watch boxing like that. Okay, this one from Talladega Nights. He said, since y'all niggas tapping. Back into y'all sports bag again. Parentheses, thank God. <laughs> How do y'all feel about Clarissa Shields and Keith Thurman potentially being in a real fight? And I must say, nigga, I don't think I, I don't watch boxing, but don't be misogynistic. It's a man versus I don't. This ain't happening. It can be happening. Um, co- is this actually going to happen? I think they're. I think that they're, they're, they're <clears throat> considering it. What's gonna be the good? Like, what's the good out of this? What's the pros and cons? There are no co- pros of a man and cons. Man and like, man and a woman. Boxing? There are no. There are no. There are no. <clears throat> there is no ulterior motive. Cl- Clarissa Shields is a great boxer herself. 
a, a phenomenal boxer, right? Is it rent due? Nah, she just talking her shit. Like she letting people know, like she thinks she that good. Oh, okay, is it kind of like Britney, uh, Britney Griner when she said she could beat every dude in the NBA? And it was, and no, they were like, yeah, no. get the fuck out of here. No, because Clarissa Shields definitely could beat a lot of boxers. Is she undefeated with women? And I'm not saying a lot of boxers that that you know. I'm just saying a lot of men boxers. Period. <laughs> Okay, so it is some it's some dudes out there she definitely could beat easily. Okay. She's 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 good. Can she beat bro? Keith Thurman. I don't know how I don't know how well she <clears throat> would be able to take some of the punches he 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 would, he would deliver. You know what I mean? And I I got a lot of faith that she could her 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 position is that she could outbox him. So she going he going to punch her back in the kitchen. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's hey, crazy. hey, Clarissa, I'm a bitch ass Nika. Don't even come for me. Yeah, I can't look, even fight. I'm rooting for you, girl. I'm, I'm, I ain't saying I'm rooting for you to win, <laughs> but I'm rooting for you to like prove everything that you're standing on. Like, yo, she. I, I think she legit just saying she's that good that she could hold it down with someone as as relevant and as known as uh, as Thurman. Okay. Salute. Yes. All right. So yeah. So you you, you think she gave him his credit and shit? I think that I think that it would be a decent event. I I, I do got Thurman winning. It, okay, let's. See. He beat her ass. What's next? There's no next. Like he go home and sleep at night. <laughs> he took the fight. You know what I mean? Um, then they just be like, oh, he beat up a woman. Nah, I don't think anyone would say that. Like, I don't say Clarissa like, Shields it's, it's, is that good. This is no win for him. I don't think that that is no loss either, unless he loses. And even if he loses, like <clears throat> I'm, I'm being dead ass serious. I still don't think people would. I think they would critique his boxing style more so than they would critique the loss. Like, all okay. right, let's let's say he win. They're like, oh damn, you just beat a woman ass. He lose, damn! You let a woman beat your ass. It's no, and it's no win win. It ain't about like, damn, bro, you were you were crazy on her ass. Nah, I think up, if he loses, it's more so like, damn, did you see how Clarit? Like they're gonna be talking more about her, and it's gonna be like, yo, Thurman couldn't stay on his feet. Thurman couldn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you if, if it becomes something like that, then you get the problematic fan. They're like, yeah, you gave her what she needed. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be crazy conversation around it. I just think that technically, it could be a decent fight. It could be a decent fight. Yeah, I got I got Thurman winning. Yeah, by how many rounds? Probably like eight, eight to they four. They should just spar. Oh, they sparred in my little box, right? Huh? Did they spar in my little box, right? Yeah. Uh. I mean, based on the challenge, yes. As both boxers can prepare for each other, you know what I mean? Mm. That's crazy, man. The yeah. Keith Thurman, if you his name Keith, right? Yeah, Keith, Keith Thurman. If you watch, you gotta it, say it like him, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman. If you're watching it, don't do it, bro. It ain't even worth it, bro. Go fight a, go fight a orangutan or something. Like orangutan. <laughs> go fight like a, a wild animal on Fox Network or something. Like, like I that. said, fight a kangaroo. <coughs> fight Blueface. Blueface be boxing. Go fight that nigga. <laughs> I seen fucking Charleston White be boxing. Not off of Blueface. Blueface kind of fire. Right. I don't like giving Blueface praise, but he kind of nice in that boxing ring. I've seen some of Blueface's matches, and uh, yeah, he can win, but he not fighting nobody that's like trained boxing. Yeah, you're right. He boxing like other niggas that's not to say local celebrities and no <laughs> shit, but all right. But yeah, Keith, man, if you watching it, don't do it, bro. So uh, that's been another edition of listening to questions. Send those in, hit us up, mail at ariopodcast.com. That's mail at ariopodcast.com. All right, so I think this might be like the most talked about sent- thing on the- that and the most sent in thing ever, like a million of y'all niggas. But yeah, get his real nigga of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, it's the Hall of Fame. I mean, we should know that this going to be a collective <laughs> unison 
in the greens, everyone. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the Alabama shit. I feel like uh, niggas kind of ran it into the ground. But it is an amazing moment. So we're going to talk about it on the podcast. The listeners, niggas was hitting, hitting the damn messages like, hey, bro, y'all better talk about that shit. <laughs> like, well, I'm listening. Y'all niggas better talk about it. I'm like, all right, so we got to talk about it. That's some real shit. So. <clears throat> I'll let you set it up, Jim. All right, so from what we see, man, you got to love Alabama, that gump yeah. area, you know what I'm saying? While um, Joe while Joe is talking, I'm going to play a little bit just for us. Yeah. We can't play it on YouTube. It's fighting, so. Yeah. I'll just play, I'll put like a little bit in. We can't put, we can't show motherfuckers getting punched on on YouTube, so. Yeah. Just keep that in mind, but we can talk about it. But yeah, Joe, go ahead. So, uh, the video, the, from what we see, things start to where, there's a black a black guy basically squaring up one on one. Yeah. The backstory of it is that this uh, security guard was asking them to move. Yeah. And you see this uh, this white guy just attack him out of nowhere. Yeah. He threw and, that hat up. Yeah, yeah. He was like, "Yo, I'm losing my job today because I'm finna beat this cracker ass." Yeah. So he trying to fight him, and then look at this, yo! Somebody j- comes and r- his son, his you know, someone, nephew, whoever the fuck, comes and runs and tackles him, and a group of white folks just start jumping on him, right? Men and women. Out of nowhere, we see a brother come running down the ramp, trying to break up the fight, and they still trying to beat on this nigga, right? Yeah. Now we see somebody come swimming across the bridge, ready to throw them hands. A sixteen-year-old kid. Okay, let's get it. Everybody ready, right? So, yeah. real quick, real quick, before you continue. So, you know how black people just turn anything into a folklore? Yeah. So, of course, they were like, oh, this is 60. Every, every day, new info about a kid. He's 16, you know. They told him something. They told him something. He didn't even know how to swim. He just jumped <laughs> in the water. <laughs> they said, God take me from here. <laughs> yeah, they said Ogon was Ogon was, right, was God. Him. On, man. <laughs> it was like all like, all right, bro. I think this kid know how to swim. <laughs> right, right. He, Cause he was working for the boat company. He was something. swimming slow as fuck, but yeah, he, yeah. he, he, he could swim. Yeah. He was throwing them hands though. Yeah. All right, what you continue. All right, so kid comes making it up the bridge, right? And they finally get up off of this. They finally get up off of this uh this, this 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 brother. Now he jump up and he on some civil shit. He's still yelling at him. He ready to, oh, he ready to go. Never mind. He 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 ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get another angle and these white folks is on the boat now. They're yeah, this, on their boat. This one this one they got like the the team. They were like the Avengers. Yeah. Whole squad just come like a group of niggas just come running out like nah we don't ride for none of that shit so he still off on one of the jits then boom old man that started the shit catch one somehow they drag these niggas off the fucking boat beat them and they beat these crackers to fucking pieces I remember I think they was like they were like beating Pete beating them up and tossing them in the water man look it was crazy cause <clears throat> You know, you notice the cops, the cops letting them fight. They Bro, they was like, yo, we ain't finna. We understand. <laughs> we understand. Yeah, they beat Everybody the, was getting it. They beat Men, the woman, women. They beat the woman up and just threw her in the water. Bro, <laughs> like, it, it was so fucked up. Like, so, yeah. So the, and I ain't saying fucked up that, that, they, that they got beat up like that. I'm saying they got beat the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. So it keeps going. They just fighting for a long time. The cops is kind of like referees, like they like keeping in that beta, like yeah, yeah, keep it, keep it. Y'all throw them hands, keep it, keep it, keep it cool, keep it cool. <laughs> yeah. Then I don't know if it's this video, but OG, he was the most viral part of it. Besides oh, the swimming, he goes crazy with the chair. You gotta flash a picture after this. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Uh, you gotta back it up, son. You gotta back it up, son. All right. Okay, okay. So now, yeah, they jumping <clears throat> on this one man. Then, then the the wife getting it. The wife getting beat up. Boom. They beating on her. So out of nowhere, old man, bah, bah. Oh, oh, uh, uh. Probably a good six shots. That nigga got a concussion. That's yeah. for sure, right? 
That's for sure. Ooh. Bow. The wife got a concussion. The wife got a lump. She really lump, lump. The oh, wife. then she caught some hands afterwards. Bro, uh, the way because she got her, she got her head like that. Bro, he hit all back of her head and yeah. top of the neck. Like that's like, bro, <laughs> that's like spinal. Like that's like that's manslaughter, bro. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. like <laughs> that, that's like paralyzed. Like bro. one hit, one good whack. You can't walk no more. That's a bit murder, bro. So the cop was kind of cops was like, once he hit her with the chair, yeah, they're like, all right, they're yeah, like, all right, yeah. it's over now. They're like, gotta, the fun's over. Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> it's like, all right, you're wild now. You gotta though. go. Fam. So he gets arrested. I think he was the only one that got arrested out of the black side. All the white people got arrested. You gotta they, show the picture of uh, the Marvin Gaye shit yeah. with them niggas holding the chair. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I'll put it up. I'll put up the uh, shout out to Jig. He made Ogon with the with the chair. Right. <laughs> he did that. I got to put that up there. It was a, it was a bunch of classic ones. Though. Yeah. It's a lot of good funny shit, man. Man, look at this. The other, this the angle from inside the boat. What they do with the chair? Oh, oh. <laughs> bro, he was going crazy with that fucking you, hammer. If you I can, mean, with that fucking chair. If you look closely, you can see when you hit him with the chair, water just flying off the dude's body. Yeah, bro, it might as well have been a hammer the way he was hitting him with that chair. Look at that pot. Look at the water Bye. flying off his body. Bro, he beat the water off him. I'm going to say this white people, it's over for y'all. Y'all got to get out the water. The water is not kind to y'all no more. Yeah, stay out of the water. So, first of all, First, y'all had that submarine. Y'all got in that submarine trying to look at Titanic. Y'all got crumbled up. Damn, talk to sh him. Sharks be biting y'all asses talk in the to water. <laughs> uh, whale, you don't never hear about black folks getting bit by sharks. Whales jumping in boats. Come on. It's dolphins sinking boats. I don't know if you've seen that. Like Dolphins, like legit. 20 dolphins just jumping on a boat, landing on a motherfucker, weighing them down, sinking boats. The other day, fucking New York, somebody got like, nah, nigga, somebody that's got, crazy. Somebody got bit by a shark in New York, and Bruh. then a nigga was in a boat. I mean, uh, then a nigga was in the water and start beating y'all ass. Bruh, I'm dropping knowledge. White people stay away from the water. It, it's it's not y'all's though, boy. It's not y'all time. It's the niggas and the fish. <laughs> <laughs> If you're not a fish or a nigga, stay out of the water or a Mexican. I was so, just about to say, bro, according so, to Black Panther, bro. Yeah, the slew the Neymar. If you're not a nigga, a fish, or a Mexican, stay out of the water. Yeah. You've been warned. It ain't safe. It ain't safe for y'all out here, man. So, yeah, y'all white people, y'all used to y'all used to be boogie boarding and shit in the water. That's where the G is. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap for y'all. Go ahead and stay up out of that, man. So, the aftermath is... A bunch of the white people got uh, arrested. I'm, I, I think they're still in there. Mm. A couple of black people got arrested. Uh, they got out. So I seen they did a little uh, press press conference, and it was like a couple of the white people actually got away. So it's like warrants out for their arrest. Five. Yeah. And then the black dude is not the black dude with the chair. He got arrested, but I guess they let him out. Oh, they wow. said in the press conference, they were like, they necessarily didn't say it was a warrant for the arrest. They said he got to come in for questioning. The dude with the chair? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then, like, on the black end, it's like nobody else that was like, and so. Coming in to questioning, that could mean he might go to prison. They were like, while we got you here, yeah. go ahead and have a seat for us. So, I don't know. They're going to be like, this is you, right? <laughs> this is you on the on the, on the take. Yeah, they already said his name, so I don't know. What would you do in this situation? You can't go on the run. You got to turn you can't yourself. Can't do in. shit. Yeah, you got to. You got. I mean, unless you got bread, long, long cash, pause. Yeah, that was. A, come on, bro. You ain't have to pause that. Hey, bro. That's crazy. So, salute to the good people in Alabama. <laughs> you seen this one, bro? Did the chair jitsu? <laughs> nah. After witnessing my brothers and sisters take arm in the Battle of Montgomery, I knew that I had to be prepared myself. I haven't used this skill in years. The last time I used it, I sent four people to the hospital with concussions. They brains turned to jelly. It's a daily skill passed down from the hood master to the hood master. Baby daddy to baby daddy. It's, it's a, a powerful, powerful skill. skill. When thrown, the chair can cause riots and get the most sane person into a frenzy. But, but it's, it's necessary. necessary. 
and I will be ready. <laughs> Bro, that's fine. Actually, that was a great. That was a that, great. Was, that was a good clue. That was like one of the ones where I'm like, damn, I wish I would have came up with this. Bro, yeah, that's genius. Yeah, man. Wait, hey, man. Salute to the people, good people. And uh, my it was Montgomery, Alabama. Salute y'all, good people. Y'all laid a smack now. Y'all seen a, a brother in need. Y'all didn't sit down and watch. Y'all wasn't like that episode of Seinfeld where they was that last episode where they sat down and watched uh, the bro get robbed and they got they went to prison. Did you see the last episode of Seinfeld? Nah. <clears throat> so the season finale of Seinfeld was just it, it was kind of ridiculous to me. So they went on a trip. I think they went on like a trip out of the country or somewhere. I can't re- can't really remember. But they seen a dude get robbed and like they were like everybody in Seinfeld like the gimmick of the show was like they're assholes. So they just watched the dude get robbed, and right. then like the dude that robbed him just ran off. And the dude after getting robbed, he just pointed at him and said, "You guys just watched me get robbed." And then the, and then the cops just came out of nowhere and they just arrested them and put them all in the same prison cell. And like the whole episode was just them like reminiscing on like past episodes. Yeah. And then like the, I think like the end they had got like years in prison. Like they gave them like twenty years or some shit like that. That's and the true. show just ended. That's crazy. I was like, bro, that was like the that was that was a ridiculous episode. But yeah. <laughs> Speaking of niggas going to prison, Tory Lanes. I gotta pull out my phone for this. I can't see that shit from all the way over here. This is your boy. You wanna send him a letter? My boy. They sent <laughs> Ain't your boy no more? Nigga, I ain't never listened to no fucking Tory Lanes by my own volition. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't like uh damn, what's a Tory Lane song? Uh, damn. I, mean, I can't even think about David with Tori. You wasn't you like chicks tape one and two. Never listened to three. It. Oh, okay, no, no, not one, not two, not three. All right, it say the judge has handed down a ten year sentence for Tory Lanes. He's expected to serve eighty five percent of the time. My only uh thing I got to say is to this is this right here. Fuck Canada. Well, Sean Michael certainly That's, crazy. That's my only response. And don't drop the soap, nigga. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. I ain't You're going to be singing. <laughs> <laughs> you about to be singing the next eight years. <laughs> yeah, I ain't got nothing else to say, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I think the next big say gonna be prison songs. Yeah, night night, keep your butthole tight. I don't know what to say. Hey, right, bro, come on, next up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that what to say. To it. It up, right? <laughs> That's crazy that they got ten years. But hey, yeah, it is what it is, man. Nah, did you see that Iggy Azalea <laughs> allegedly wrote a uh, <laughs> a letter? Oh, uh, I think a couple of got it. Is that they need to ask me? Yeah, I seen him posted it for my, sure. My only thing I got to say about that is. He, cause apparently they were digging. He must have put some. He put some dick on that cracker. <laughs> he put some dick on that milk. He had to. Man, he had to cause God, Lee, bro, how you do that? Like, hey, she said, "Fuck my career." She should have. Yeah, for real. She should have pulled a court. Uh, 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 Chloe Bailey, Chloe, Chloe, whatever her name is. Yeah, you said it right. Um, she said some shit of where she said that. She ain't know the letter was going to get, like, out. <laughs> which which kind of makes sense, but... Actually, nah, it don't make sense. You know everything they say in the courts be on tweets. Yeah. It's literally people that goes to the court just to tweet the whole case. Like, they, like, get paid for that. Right. So, I don't know why you didn't think... It's a high-profile case. Yeah, you thought <laughs> you thought the judge was going to read that in the back and be like, okay, Iggy's all up back. No, nigga, you're going to read that in front of everybody. So right, right. Her whole thing about she didn't know. She probably didn't think about it, but, yeah, your, your brain did. Yeah, you got Skittles for brains. Yeah, you got a little ass. You got an Australian brain. You got an Al- <laughs> yeah. right, <laughs> <laughs> Bitch got an Bitch got an outback brain. Your brain little as fuck. <laughs> Crazy as hell, if you If you present it to the judge, it's going to get read in court, dummy. To any Aussies out there, if that's not offensive to say, um, be this nigga ass. Not my. Any Aussies listening? Because I think we do got some Australian listeners. All right, mate. Anyway, so let's uh, shout outs. Patreon shout outs. I got to send you the list. Man. You ready? Let me send it. Nah, I'm going to just see you in my phone. Okay. Oh, I got a mug shot up. 
uh, Free Jordan. <laughs> did you see it in the group? Nah, I did. That's crazy. Hey, I can't. I am. I am not gonna wild and put a picture up for the video. Free Jordan. <laughs> Damn, we're gonna need to get some teas. Yeah, with that picture on it. <laughs> oh my God! I'm about to. I'm about to say something so problematic. <laughs> It, <laughs> I can't even say it, bro. Oh, man. It's gonna be disgustingly sexist. Oh, I man. can't even say it. I can't even get in that bag. There you go, bro. Just uh, you got that. Just scroll, just scroll. All right, just three of them. I'm glad you showed me my limit. All right, let's get it. <coughs> Whoa. Whoa. Man, look. Shout out to Anthony and shout out to Kill. I'm about to say niggas real names and I'm for real. Shout out to James. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to Catavia. Shout out to Tori and Janelle. Shout out to Faye. Shout out to Jemiah. Bonzarelli too. Then we got Danny. Nico going crazy. I mean that literally or figuratively. However you want to take it Shout out to Chance Shout out to Cedric Need no enhance Mints when I flow Shout out to No Mad Andre And Maximilian Shout out to Mike Shout out Goldside Shout out Tremaine TJ Willer Nine Miller Willer Boy be going silly Shout out to Gerard Shout out to Kareem Shout out to Kenneth Sky High Eve Shout out Anthony Lifton And you they Austin Adam and LaDon, shout out Denver Oakley, and we got Corey and Josh, then we got Trap, TC, DJ Lair, and we got Chloe Hotline, man, we had to do this shit one more time, shout out to Raheem, shout out POV, and we got Albert, and we got Jivon, and we got I Hate Bonnie and B-Dot, calling all the time, leaving voicemails that be longer than a minute. <laughs> Shout out to Millie. I think this nigga be that be going silly. Anytime he drink, he call the walk up okay, hotline and tell us what he think. Shout out to Vince 23. Shout out to Stray. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Ryan. And shout out Aaron Ryan. Shout out to Cameron. Shout out DQ. Psychosis 2. Shout out to Alonzo. Shout out to Nick. And we got Keith A. Josh T. And Paperwork Sam. Nigga and be then in the Discord like, damn. <laughs> shout out to Rand, shout out to Shavante and Stefan, shout out to Yaga, and shout out Sam, and shout out De La Soul, Dead Stock Dev, and King Joseph, and we got Frank, Era Got Soul, that's my nigga though. Up everybody? Yeah. Hey. That was pretty good. You haven't did that in a while. Yeah, man. I had a I had a few stumbles, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We brushed that up. Hey man, shout out to everybody on the Patreon, patreon.com slash REO Podcast. Tap in if y'all want bonus content, all kind of shit, man. And you want your name shouted out on an episode, you gotta have a ten dollar and up tier. So go ahead and tap into that. You got the five dollar tier. Upgrade that bit, bro. Yes, sir. Also yes, sir. now we got on the Patreon where if you want a seven day free trial, it's just for the one dollar tier three and a five so if you want a free 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 week or something like that tap into that hey there you go get involved you know what i'm saying check us out see what see what all you get you know what i mean yeah um shit hey can i be on a bonus episode soon uh i actually wanted to talk to you about that okay yeah yeah nigga what the fuck <laughs> nigga said can i be on a bo- <laughs> nigga what is wrong with you nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, man. Hey, I've been I've been working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, real niggas a week, and they need their ass beats. Send those in. Hit us up at mail at ariopodcast dot com. R A O podcast dot com. Me and Joe was talking about that before we was recording. Uh, I say UPS drivers are going to make a hundred and seventy k per year on a new contract. So salute to the UPS niggas. Yeah, if you're driving for UPS, man, get that fucking money. They work the hell out <clears> you, but for 170000 nigga, yeah, hey, sun up to sun down, nigga, get that bread. Which one of them was, is it still the same? Didn't, like, one of them you had to be, like, working there, like, a long time to get, become a driver? Nigga, all of them shits. It's like, um, fucking, um. I thought somebody was saying, like, you could be a FedEx driver off the street. But I remember, like, 
UPS wasn't it like UPS? Don't you got like work in a warehouse a couple years? FedEx also contract <clears throat> out they drivers too, so you oh, can okay. you can you can work your way in through that shit. You know what I mean? It's ways, but I think that I have heard it to be said you can become a driver at FedEx quicker than you can at UPS. Uh, UPS, yes, typically you got to work there for years because everybody in the building trying to get to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Damn, and then they man. got they got crazy ass like even promotions and shit like that. They're done on like a crazy basis, bro. Like X amount of white people, X amount of black people. Okay, I had seen some people complaining. They were like, "Oh man, UPS, nah, UPS driver, they UPS and FedEx driver, they keep the world going." They do. Yeah, they more they. I'm sorry, like some of these jobs people bring up. Oh, oh it is. They get paid more. Like nah, UPS. Some of that shit you can't important. do. Some of the shit you legit can't do. You cannot function without UPS. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Businesses can't function without UPS. Right, right. Yeah. Mm, FedEx, y'all next. Go ahead and get y'all protests on. Y'all definitely gonna get paid too. Y'all just gotta y'all gotta get that shit out the mud. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got this one random nigga from Chicago. I don't know his name, but bro just do random videos, just like exploring Chicago, and something just happened. I don't know if he expected this to happen, but it was just funny as fuck. All right, it's the famous Chicago theater, man. I'm gonna show you all about my city today, man. You already know we gonna stay in the lake with it. We gonna have this bitch looking real motherfucking sick now. What y'all don't know is. Selling squares right here? No, I don't got no squares, gang. We ain't selling squares. Nah, bro. <laughs> I'm making a video. Somebody told me, somebody told me you were selling squares right here. Somebody told you I was selling squares, bro. All these people right here, and somebody told you I'm selling squares. What is you on, bro? Man, this is where I'll be at right here. This is where I'll be at. Selling my squares. Selling squares right here. This is where you be at selling. You look like a crip. You a crip? Hell no. You look like a <laughs> back crip. Your ass look like. Lexington off the gargoyles. I swear to God, bro. Right I ain't selling squares, boy. They wear like a hip hop cicada. Get your dumb ass on, boy. Meatball head ass on, boy. Look, pin swing there. They wear on your knees pin. Put your ass in the beat, boy. They wear like a beat. Your head like a beat. They wear like an acrobatic cat, bat, rat. Dumb man, boy. Acro rat. Get your dumb ass on, dude. They wear tweaking, boy. Is you cool? Hell yeah, you tweaking, bro. This your shit? Bro, what the fuck? Mm. You the so you the you the square man. You the you the square <laughs> lieutenant. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, as a like you got venom. What? You like you bite a motherfucker and you put venom in their body, bro. I swear <laughs> to God, bro. Yo, where I look sick. Sick, sick fool look at that. Corner, it's your That's funny right, as man. fuck. Yo, squares, bro. Parakeet <laughs> <laughs> looking at. Yeah. You can see a parakeet looking at. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That nigga, he started sounding like, because most Chicago niggas sound the same, a lot of them. That yeah. nigga started sounding like Don Terrio yeah. when he's not Rose. He's like parakeet look. He was just out of normal when he got in a Rose bag. Man, like, bro, he de he definitely had a few, but that will, that, that ended one, yeah. Because <laughs> when I had seen the video, I see I know that the dude was kept were circling around. All right, bro, what this nigga doing, bro? I thought bro. he about to beat the dude up. So you ain't see that that nigga came on, <clears throat> uh, he pulled up on him a second time? I was noticing every time, because I, cause when I seen this video, I didn't know what was going on. I just seen downtown Chicago. Yeah. So I'm watching the video. I'm like, oh, the nigga just showing Chicago. And the dude just talking. And then I'm watching the video. I'm like, bro, why this nigga keep <laughs> popping up? <laughs> he yeah. popping up. Oh, and then he just like, hey, bro, can I help you, nigga? <laughs> he like, they told me you selling squares. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, he didn't talk to nobody. He was just circling around. He like, hey, somebody told me you were selling squares. And he said, you the, he said, I just sell squares right here. Like, good for you, nigga. <laughs> Leave me the fuck on. Man, I got this this queen right here, man. She uh, she queen of the year. I think she like in Africa or something like that. So I don't know why she got on a, a gown, but I don't know. She just out in the field. It's Africa, so I'm yeah. gonna, I guess you just. Keep, I, don't know, I guess you be on a farm in gowns. She, she barefooted also. So, I uh, play it. Grab a chair. Oh, nah, that. Boy, she was lightning fast. She had that hey, she said, "Yo, I could do this shit day and night. What you want to eat? 
Get the fuck out of here. I ain't gonna lie, that shit don't look appealing, but. <laughs> he throwing that chicken? Yeah. I don't know, bro. I just saluted because she was in the. She, she, she caught, bro. Yeah. Skinned his ass up and cooked him up. Straight up. Down. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to be problematic, but yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want stew stuff. chicken. Yeah. Yeah, grab that bit up and yeah, fry it. That ain't. That ain't for me. Yeah, I ain't a stew chicken type guy. Stew, stew it up all you want, but it better touch some batter and grease. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got uh, little baby and Rollo Rodriguez. Yeah, these two. Who? Niggas. Who this fuck? <laughs> who this fuck? <laughs> These two niggas was busting these motherfucking girls. You know it's crazy. I, I probably said it on here before. I can't remember that nigga Rallo. I think that nigga like twenty seven or twenty six. He's pretty young. Yeah. That nigga looks from if you see him. Oh, bro. He be looking either. He looks from the range of twenty four to like forty four. <laughs> he just looks. He just like twenty years. Some pictures he actually do look his age. Yeah. Then some pictures you look at that nigga like, bro, this nigga looks <laughs> fifty. Nigga. That nigga look like what caveman would look like. This nigga, <laughs> nah, that is crazy. <laughs> I about to say this nigga Benjamin Button. <laughs> Until uh until little baby jumped in, I was about to say this nigga Rain Man nigga. Uh, you remember he remember my Rain Man Dennis Hoffman? He was they were going crazy in the casino and like uh Tom Cruise he was the one talking shit. Yeah, but Dennis Hoffman he was going crazy. I was about to say is Ronald Rodriguez Rain Man and, yeah. then, and fucking little baby Tom Cruise. He was like <laughs> I'm talking shit, but then yeah. Like little baby, he jumped in, so all right. Yeah. So I was about to say, damn, Rallo, that nigga. Them like, two boys, man, look. They're going to crash it. Who the fuck? <laughs> on, all right, you got this Asian man. I ain't going to say what you said in the Discord. If y'all want to see what Joe said, hop in the Discord, but you got to be on the Patreon. Uh, uh, what the fuck I say? I don't even remember. No, you, yeah. He got hey, this, he got this hey, guy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, oh, did I delete that? I think I deleted it, right? Did I delete that? <laughs> oh my god! Who is fault? You got this dude. Oh my god! Hey, you have boyfriend or husband? Husband, you hold your hand a lot. Have you hold your feet yet? You get this long ass toes. Look at my. You know what this look like? Monkey feet. All right. <laughs> All right. Man, he killed us. All right, you just being at that point, you're just being insensitive. It's true indeed. Did you want to play this one? This one was long as a song. Yeah, nah. All right, but it's funny as hell. Matter of fact, play a little bit of it. <coughs> yeah, it's just a dude. <laughs> So a cop pulled him over. He like, nigga, I'm about to, I'm about to make, you, I'm about to make you stay in the hot seat. Making the police wait in the back. I can't find it really. Bro, it's been five minutes. I didn't, I didn't went to my car and came back, and you still like, sound to me like you ain't got the license. I got I'm, under registration. I got both. All of a sudden, I'm saying you're making me nervous right now. So and you making me hot, bro. I'm standing out here. I've been standing out here. Bro, that nigga drunk and sweaty. So we can do this the easy way. The hallway. This is the easy way. The hallway is you stepping out here and is he with me? And me slamming you up against this hot cop. But you come in and you ain't got to do all that. Man. I'm gonna have to do all that. If you can't give me this license though. All right, give me another, give me another four five minutes, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to keep looking. <laughs> just, just bear with me. It was in the middle part right here. 
Only he thing did. I don't like is he did it to a, a nigga, but I mean, at the same time, hey, he chose that life. I know, I know. I'm trying to be calm, so I see all the shit that be going around, and I'm trying not to be one of them officers. Okay, all right, man. All right. I understand. You're just making me nervous, man. That's... And your registration. You just gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I was stopping right here, but yeah, they just had the. Uh, the whole rhythm of road. That was funny though. Yeah, that was to funny. me the ending when the officers started going, bro, that was hilarious. Uh hold on. Let me get my phone. I might need glasses, nigga. Possibly. He surprised myself with my twenty twenty vision, but it's starting to get go away the older I get. That's why sometimes y'all can't you can't brag too much. So I used to laugh at niggas with glasses. Um, who this for? Now that shit stuck in my head. I don't even want to play this one for King. There was a dude that had the, uh, <laughs> he was like cutting the promo on the kid. <clears throat> you seen this one? The kid was just being bad and he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I played a little bit of it. He was just yelling at the kid. What you doing? Like she crazy? <clears throat> Cursing at her? Telling her what you won't do? You won't clean your room? You won't do what you want to do? And you talk to your mother like that? Yeah, he just going there. Basically, the kid was just disrespectful to his mom. And she just, I don't know where she got this nigga from. Drill Sergeant from Maury. Yeah. Cut the promo. I just feel bad for the kid because I'm assuming he ain't got a father figure in his life. So, yeah. yeah. So she said, I'm going to have a random nigga be your father. <laughs> Another one Scared for Scared the shit out your ass. <laughs> Let me hear you talk like that again. I'm gonna get it looked like he had a, a gun <clears> on <throat> too. Oh, he might be like a cop. Oh yeah, he do got a gun. That might be a bit excessive. You be, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip. I'm gonna hit your ass with a fire. Uh, yeah, in school, this one from another one from King. A Nigerian man has canceled his wedding after he saw his soon-to-be wife comment under a Facebook post saying she would cheat on him for a million dollars. Oh, sucks for her. Uh, Donovan Tiger out here. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I got a video. Did you see Tiger do this hand to hand transaction? Nah, nah nigga had some pills or something. I don't know what he did. Like, <laughs> <laughs> white lady handed him something. What was that? I don't know. What you think that was? Oh, uh no. -huh. But definitely might have took that ecstasy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bro. Being on a golf course on ecstasy, nigga. Hey, bro. I'm just saying. That's what you would have did, nigga. Mm -hmm. Um, they need their ass beats. You, 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 I'll let you do yours first because I got a lot of them. Um, so, man, it's almost time for me to be green, y'all. I y'all know I don't be on the internet like that, but. I got on Instagram. Yeah, and he, he James Harden. All right, whatever that is. You remember when Young Thug, when you remember when James Harden had that MAGA mask, and Young Thug oh, was like, yeah. James Harden don't got the internet, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, there was this dude that saw a dog fight and <clears throat> stuck his thumb. All right, yeah, I don't even want to talk about that. Bro, that shit was so yeah. disgusting. You got the nastiest algorithm ever. Bro, nah, that's just the generic algorithm. That's yeah, what they right. showing people. They, I, they don't show me that. They were like, Joe. That's because you be too busy looking at booty. <laughs> I'd rather see that than dog booty. Nigga, if I'm ain't online, they don't know what to show me. <laughs> <laughs> so the default ag algorithms, the niggas putting thumbs up dog asses? <sighs> Nah, count me out. No, I'm a, nigga, it was like uh, in a fighting thread or some shit like so, that. Cause I'm, I be clicking on the fucking links in the Discord. Oh, okay. I feel like I click on the same links. I ain't gonna man, I, shut the fuck up. Speaking of fighting, man, you familiar with Tim Anderson? Who? Tim Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. played for the uh, he played yeah, for the, uh, the Chicago Sox. White Sox. Yeah. Can't play. I'm I'm not even about to. You, I don't know. You probably can play this on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's like a bunch of sports channels showing it, but I ain't taking it. I'm not taking a risk. Yeah. So he got in a fight with bro. He got punched on. Did you see the punch? Nah. Right, here go. Adam, Oscar's throw is <clears throat> not in time. Hey. 
Tiger, let's take a regular play. Seems normal. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Here come the benches. Off we go. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knocked out. Swings being taken. Impact had to hold him back. And everybody's spilling out here in Cleveland. So he got knocked out, Cole. I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with Tim Anderson off the field shit. He get, he, then they got like two, two secret families or some shit. <laughs> he got like, he got, got like a side bitch or something like that. He got like two of them. Then of course he married his wife. Hopped on. She said she ain't leaving him. I think she definitely leaving him after the getting that knocked guy. out. Yeah, yeah, she was like the side, the two side families fine, <laughs> knocked out. On, That's too on, far on national television. So the nigga hops on. Nigga Tim Anderson, he hops on Twitter and he just started tweeting a bunch of like dumbass Nonsense. shit. The bigger really? picture. One of the craziest things is a nigga the, the AV nigga got a demonic King Von picture. <laughs> nigga just hopped on Google and like devilish King Von right, picture. Right. He was like sinister King Von picture that he was like, man, this gonna scare the Pictures fuck out of you. Of nigga. a black killer. <laughs> <laughs> and King Von just posted up. Right. So I don't know why he. Thought that was gonna scare us. He started. He started saying all kind of shit. Yeah. So I when I seen it, I was like, bro, I don't, I don't think nobody hating on. It's kind of alluding to like, oh, they hating on me. It's a bigger picture. And like they, they out to get me. I was like, I don't know about that, bro. You just got knocked out. Yeah. But he was kind of right. So apparently, this leak. Apparently, one of his teammates before the All Star break slapped the fuck out of him, and that shit just now got leaked yesterday. Yeah. So I don't know if it's like a smear campaign on this nigga. They like hit it and they were like, oh, he already getting punched on. So let's go ahead and leak this too. So I don't know, bro. Tim Anderson, yeah. You already got leaked that you got a side family too. I don't know. They might be out there to get that boy. But you fall into the temptations. He's from Alabama. So I don't know. That's crazy. <clears throat> That's crazy. Yeah, you Alabama niggas, man. Y'all need to get it together. Y'all don't, guess y'all don't know no better. Y'all get millions of dollars for some coochie. You don't know how to act. <laughs> Next one. You listen to Reason? Reason? <coughs> eh, no. Yeah, I don't. About TDE. I don't. How you feel about TDE? And no. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, they're they're well, just... Kendrick, yeah, Kendrick left. Yeah. Yeah, Kendrick Day Free left. They're they're dependent on scissors. That's really all they got. Yeah. Damn, what you call it? Dropped that amazing album, Abso, but it wasn't enough. I don't even think that shit charted. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, Absol didn't have a niggas knew who Absol was, but niggas didn't have a big enough fan base. And then I think when that Schoolboy Q album come out, it's gonna be like, all right. Yeah, he niggas, waited too long. Yeah, niggas gonna listen, but it went all right. So um, I'm not really familiar. With reason I heard of him, I just heard niggas used to say the nigga was like a substitute teacher. So um, reason last night he was on T Rail. Uh, live stream uh, back on Fig, and he was with Mac Wap, and Mac Wap is actually uh, Schoolboy Q DJ. Okay. So of course a lot of TDE people come in and come out on that show. So the nigga reason was on, just pretty much just saying that he felt like when he came to TDE it was like a bad time and it wasn't really pushing him like that. So the president of of TD, I think his name is. I'm not. I don't, I, can't, I don't know bro name. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I don't really care about TD <laughs> like that enough. Right. Sorry. I'm just I'm just throwing everything out there. Like, I don't know. Bro, I don't know bro name. But either, keep in mind, he the president of TD. That's pretty important. That's that's the nigga that's picking your release dates and whatnot. Yeah. He, he's doing some important decisions on the album. So reason got an album dropping this Friday, which I didn't know that either. So I'm not listening to it, especially after yeah. this. I'm not listening. So the, so imagine keep in mind reason just talk he talking shit about how he not feel like he's getting not accepted at, uh, of TDE and whatnot. He just saying all his TDE gripes. So the president calls up to the live stream and says this shit about a, a, a artist oh, that's on your label. Uh, hey, let, let me start by saying this though. Hey, T real, can you name me ten reason songs right now? You from LA? You a LA native? Can you name me 10 Reason songs right now? No. Artists on his label asking Why niggas can they name 10 of his songs. I have Matt, no even fucking... Matt, Matt, hey, hold on, hold on. Matt, from the, you from the team, <coughs> Matt, can you name me 10, can you name me 10 Reason songs? Of course. Honestly. 
Name him. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> What's a funny ass name? What's your, <laughs> what's your name? All, all I'm trying to say is, right? Even when niggas say niggas came in at weird times, hey, Dave, my nigga, Doc, my nigga, I love them niggas. Dave never wanted us to sign, sign reason. He called him a substitute teacher. Get your shit off, Moses. Doc always said that, 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 cool. that Get your reason shit off. had talent. But it's going to take more than just talent in this game right now. And everybody know that. If you talk about weird times, you got Rayvon. Rayvon got motion. Rayvon ain't got an album out, a project out yet. You got Dolce. She got motion. She ain't got an album out. Uh, uh, niggas just trying to be funny. Wait, hey, Moose, you burnt out. Let, let him cook. Let him cook, bro. Let him cook. Let him cook, bro. Let him cook, bro. Like, let him cook. Than, even when I hear niggas saying features and and everything, keep let in mind, cook. like, oh, yeah, you could have got an ESTG feature, but what does that do for, for reason? Like, what is that going to do for reason? Like, even when you say you can't get in contact with SZA and all that, like, this, like you didn't have features from everybody, including Q. I'm Shout just, out to I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand it, man. Shout out to Q-Op. You want to have a conversation or you want to go viral? Which one you want to do? <laughs> Which one you want to do? Yeah, Let me I'm know. Just, I'm just, I'm just Let me know. Let me know. You want to have a conversation this, or you want to go viral? Just be consistent. Just be consistent. I'm being, most, I'm most being consistent. I'm being consistent. Huh? I'm being consistent. So I'm asking you, you want to have a conversation or you want to go viral? Which one you want to do? I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to have a conversation. Man. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. President of the label talking to an artist like that. They got an album coming out in four days. TDE is Koch Records. Koch Records. I fucked that up. Kendrick Lamar leaving. Dave Free leaving. Y'all niggas, y'all did. Y'all seen the vision. Y'all knew it was, y'all knew it was going crazy. Even like online. So people were saying this might be like a publicity stunt. I don't think it's a publicity stunt because now after watching that, I don't want to ever hear a reason song a day in my life. Right. Because it's like, nigga, you got bitched out. That's all. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Yeah, you talking about let them cook. Like, nah, nigga. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I ain't really, yeah, I ain't really rocking with it. That shit crazy. But, uh, yeah. Did you do yours already? Um, nah. This nigga yeah, too. I did. Yes, I did. This nigga Joe high as a kite, nigga. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, what? It be like that. I'm going uh, to relapse one day. I'm just playing. That's crazy to say. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. This is crazy. Wait, give me, give me, give me, give me about a month. You're going to be smoking for sure. All right, bro. No, nigga. Uh, young lady, she tweeted, it smells so damn good in my house. Nigga tweeted, Took your panties off again, huh? Nah, lock him up. Lock him up. He from Pensacola. No, he's not. He's from the north. <laughs> you know that nigga. Uh, this one king got uh, nigga got a chair tattoo. That's so green. Niggas just make shit cordy, bro. Uh, Aaron, this one, yeah, he got the Iggy. We talked about that already. He yeah, got this also. This other one. Aaron for that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. oh I my soul. <laughs> I'm suing everybody. What? Nigga did a nigga did a, a split on that nigga and fell. Bruh, oh, oh my nigga, god. Get your ass up off me, bro. And then you can't even really protect yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> you just like, oh bro. Nigga just had his ass and balls on you. Oh bro. bruh. Fell right on your stomach. But alright, man. That's been another edition of uh, real niggas they need their ass beat. Salute. Oh, it's time for me to be green. Do 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 do. What so. is this? <laughs> Green ass nigga. Oh lord. All right, so me and Devin was slandering you last week because you said you had your uh, real nigga of the week, and you ain't remember bro name. Let me pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that man. nigga. We was like, oh. he was like, 
I'm going to remember. I definitely was Nigga like, was like, I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember. I'm going to put it in my notes. Me and Devin were like, bro, you're not going to remember. He's like, bro, I don't remember. He did not remember. What's bro's name? Exactly. This has been another episode of Random Master Podcast. It's your boy, Ampavelli. And Mr. J. <laughs> <laughs> With all that said, we are <laughs>